Hey guys, XJ here. Today I'm going to show you three different locations where you can download the iRacing paint templates and why one is better than the other. So let's get started. If this is your first time to the channel, I'm XJ. I cover sim racing topics and golf club repair. If you're interested in either of those two topics, please consider hitting that subscribe button and check out the videos on the channel. The first location is with inside the UI of iRacing itself. Open your UI, click on My Content, click on Cars, your cars will load. Let's click on the ARCA car. Down here in the bottom right, you'll see Paint Car. Click that button. And here toward the right, <clears throat> just below the car selection in the model options, you'll see Download Template. You'll click that button, you should have a download that starts. In this case, we did. And it's the 24 underscore template underscore NW09 zip file. That's the actual template, the paint template, for the ARCA car. So that's one way to do that, individually for each car. Let's take a look at another option. If you'll go to Google, type in iRacing paint templates, hit enter. It should give you two options at the top. One is a link for trading paints. The other is a link to the support page on iRacing. Let's go to the support page on iRacing first. When you click that link, it's going to bring you to this page where you can download zip files for all of the cars, the helmets, and the suits too. Again, this is all of the cars, so if you need that, it's a great location to go ahead and download all of them. That way you've got them when you need them. The second option on that search results was the Trading Paints painting templates link. Trading Paints has done a nice job as far as organizing this. They've also uh, given a brief how to use templates guide, although it is very brief. And uh, you'll probably need more information if you're just starting out. The one thing that Trading Paints does a great job of is the organization of all the cars. You can see they have them all individually divided between oval cars and road cars. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you've also got a link for all racing templates here, suits and also the helmets. Now, why the Trading Paint site is so much more beneficial than the iRacing UI or the iRacing support site is simply this. The, the naming convention for the paint templates and also where those paint templates will need to go once you've saved it as a Targa file is a bit odd. Nothing matches up. So as an example, let's look at this Arca car again. You'll see here it says Arca Menard Chevy Impala, but it also gives this file link, the documents iRacing paint stock cars to Chevy. This is the file location where your final paint file would go. Why is this important? Well, when you're just getting started painting, you're not necessarily going to know where to place these files because again, it's not very intuitive. So let's go ahead and click this Arca Menards Chevy Impala file and download it. So I can show you what I'm referring to. Click it, it should start the download. Show in folder, which should be your downloads folder unless you have it set elsewhere. Unzip the file, and it will create a file folder that you can use. You'll double click that and open it. You're gonna see a Photoshop paint template for the Chevy Impala SS Class B. Now, this naming convention does not match what the car is titled nor does it match the file folder inside of iRacing, nor does it match the template file that was downloaded. You can see the confusion. What I recommend is that you set up an area where you're downloading all of your racing templates, like I have here, or just download all the racing templates if you're going to use them. Then you've got one central location for those templates. Again, if we pull up the iRacing folder where these once uh, you have painted the actual car, 
where the files will go is inside of the documents, iRacing, Paint, and then you need to know what file folder to place that car in. But if you'll notice here, all the way to the top, there's no ARCA file. There's no Chevy Impala file. That is why this painting templates area is so important because it's going to tell you exactly where this file needs to go once you've made the paint and have saved it to a target file. And that is the documents, iRacing, paint, Street Stocks 2, Chevy. That is the ARC car inside of the iRacing folder. And as you can see here, when we scroll down, you'll find stock cars to Chevy. This is where the target file would go once again you've saved it. The only thing that we're talking about today though is just the actual paint template itself. Let's double click that and open it. And now you have the paint template that you can work off of for the Arca Menard Chevrolet. In the next video I will explain what these folders are in regard to the paint template and how you can use that. If this video helped you, consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload any additional content. Follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm streaming. Thanks for watching.